There are three parts in this video. First, there's a part of a little bit of technique. Then there's a part of um, uh, whom we got to use it for. And then there's some political parts of the enemy uh, within. So this is a SCAR. It's a Belgian-made uh, rifle from a very old factory. Uh, it's called the Fabrique Nationale. And if you'd seen my video I did in Belgium, um, there's a river, it's called the La Meuse, the Meuse. And very near to it, um, on the Meuse, the, the, the factory is in Erstal, and there is a Templars commandery, uh, a castle even, very big. So it's without any doubt that this is all related, because guns, it is like Templar stuff, you know, it's... That's where it all, it, it, it all, it all derives from, eh? And um, it, it's a very old factory which exists since the Middle Ages. Um, Templars as well. So, well, let's... It has a nice foldable stock. And a, um, the, this is a uh, M16 uh, magazine. It's got to hear some scopes on it, but you don't need it, you know, for a, it's only for a long, quick shot, nice and quiet, you know, you take your time, but the reel here, it's automatically, subconsciously, it's in your mind, you know, it's, it's far more effective, because you see the reel, you see the reflection of it, so the thing is, you know, like what they show in Hollywood, you know, you see these guys like walking with, with the scopes, with the sides up, of course, you know, and um, in a nice flat Hollywood floor, um, Hollywood floor, you know, and then they come. Oh, I didn't see the uh, the Oriental carpet. Did you see that? You know, you're walking like oh, maybe it was a corpse, you know. So you're walking like this. You don't see it, especially in the dark. So the, you know, guys, this is not the way to do it. It's so stupid. What you want to do? This is very important. There's a thing called a silhouette. Like this, you got a silhouette, you know, you see there's a guy with a gun approaching. So you don't want to give that silhouette, you know, because it's all reflection sort of things. So, keep your silhouettes away. Now I've got this whole pack here, so I can't keep it here, otherwise it would you know, like here, no silhouette. So I keep it here, it's still quick enough, you know. Um, and another thing is, um, you know, you don't want to go around the corner and somebody grabs your gun and, you know, well, you can imagine the whole, the whole scenario, you know, so, well, the oriental carpet, you know, <laughs> that's Hollywood, you know, they teach us all the, right, the wrong things, like, you know, the enemy was not really the German people in the war, the enemy is not really the Muslims, but there is the enemy within, and they're very powerful, um, so, yeah, I'm slowly getting to the second part. Whom are we going to use this gun for? And well, it's, this is a uh, with an M16 magazine. It's a 223 uh, Remington. They call it 5.56 here in Europe, and um, um, it has no stopping power. They got another version which I prefer. Unfortunately, I got the wrong one. It has a, um, a 308 uh, Winchester, which is a 7.62 uh, NATO ammunition, which has a shopping power. You just need one, you don't have to put it on full. Uh, you just need one bullet and, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the target um, go and sit down, you know, or even lie down. But this, this is an ammunition made for a uh, imperialist war in uh, Vietnam and it's very light. It's made to main. So the enemy, they will uh, need more resources, like hospital resources, so they've got less men in the front. Very uh, tactical and uh, for the logistics, um, the weight of a cartridge of a 223 is half the weight of a six point, a, uh, of a three weight, a six, six, uh, seven, six, two. So, we get to the, um, to the third part almost. Uh, first of all, watch the other move, my other videos like Auschwitz made in Switzerland and Octagon the Empire of Darkness. My interview on November the 27th, uh, 2017 on In Other News Radio. It was broadcasted from the Empire State Building 
on the legendary um, uh, WBAI uh, radio. So uh, look at that one. You'll learn a lot of things because you know humanity is going to lose other wars. Other, otherwise, I did a couple of wars and I've seen a couple of too many things I shouldn't have seen. Yeah, see what I mean? And um, this is an original Bergen of the English, the British Army. I used to work with that. And um, so, you must be, look at the Second World War. We can learn a lot from that one. You must be very incredibly powerful not to be invaded by the Nazis and the Germans. They were everywhere. They were all over the Atlantic, threatening the US. They were up to the polar circle in Scandinavia, over the polar circle, and in Russia, the steppes of Russia, into the desert of Africa. And they didn't take the nearest country, next, right next to them, Switzerland, who had only 50 tanks, whereas the Germans, they had 90,000 all over the war. They had, uh, I think, the Swiss had only 450,000 men. The Germans had 18 million, and they didn't take it. Isn't it funny? Well, I'll tell you one thing. The Swiss, they financed the Second World War. They are the real enemy. While well, the Europeans fought each other, English dead, Germans dead, uh, Russians dead. It was a genocide on the, Rus on the German people even. Uh, Jews dead, all dead, you know. Um, the Nazis, had, you know, the Germans lost the war, but the Nazis and the Swiss, they won the war. And why? The last crusade was in 1291, and the last stronghold of the Templars in the Middle East was Acres, saint jean d'Acre. The ruins are in the north of Israel. And Acres fell on May 18, 1291, only two and a half months later, just the time to get back, they found in Switzerland on August the 1st, which is Templars Day, their national holiday, uh, at 1291. And only 16 years after that, the, um, the, uh, the Templars, they, they, were the, uh, they, they got all rounded up by the French king in 1307, on Friday the 13th. 16 years, yeah, that's nothing in the Middle Ages, you know, that's like half an hour today considering the development of all the things going on politically, everything, uh, and um, so <laughs> by that time they were all sitting nice and comfortably in Switzerland. Switzerland never, it's that base, you know, where all the money is, you know, and all, all the NGOs, watch my videos on my channels, Pure and Schatzefratz, I'll try and put the links in my uh, uh, in the description. This is the real enemy, folks, the Templars. So the Nazis, they were the Nazi Templars. And now we've got a terrible war, you know, going, getting on the Third World War with the Muslim guys, who were important, imported, you know, to uh, for divide and rule. I mean, who let them all in? Who did so? Well, the aristocracy and the Templars, they were the aristocracy. And the aristocracy, they come from Pharaoh. Before the year, there is no such a thing as European aristocracy or European king. It simply doesn't exist. It's all import from Pharaoh. So this is the real enemy. You know, instead of all being hyped up with the, always another enemy, they find us all the time a new enemy. The communists, the Russians, the Nazis, Napoleon, the, the, the Romans. Now it's the Muslim dudes, they come out of nowhere, out of the desert. I mean, how could they survive anyway, you know, in the desert? There are billions of them, billions. They say they're all Muslims, but none of them ever read the Quran. They don't even know it. They just need it, you know, to identify themselves with, because we've got nothing else, really, you know. Some desert tribes. They're no religion, religious people. Get out of here. So, yeah, well, the enemy within, folks. Yeah, the enemy within. And uh, don't watch too many Hollywood movies, eh? And uh, <coughs> watch the Oriental carpets, eh? They're dangerous. Very dangerous. As the enemy within.